This tutorial will show you how to use the color manipulation tool to modify the colors used in the image. First, a product has to be opened, in this case a Maris Level 2 product. This product includes the reflectances as well as some other bands. Open the Algale 2 band to visualize the amount of chlorophyll in water bodies. Please note that for Maris Level 2 products, some masks are enabled by default. These masks shown in the image are the coastline green, land gray, clouds white, and the invalid LG2, the total suspended matter, and the yellow substances in black. For a better representation of the values of a single band, open the color manipulation tool in the left bottom corner. The slider mode shows you a histogram of the values in the image, the maximum and the minimum, the unit and the band name. For a better visual inspection of the values, it is possible to colorize the sliders differently. For example, blue and red. You can add new sliders by using the right mouse button and then add new sliders. If you want to move them, you can click on them and drag them manually, or you type in the value you want. Predefined color schemes are available and can be imported. In this case we use the Maris Algal color scheme. If you choose a predefined color scheme, you can either distribute your sliders between the min and maximum values defined in the color palette, or the minimum and maximum values defined in the image. Now your image gives you a good overview where the amount of chlorophyll in Northern Europe might be high or low. If you want to create your own color palette, you can export it with this export icon and save it for later use. Click Save. If you don't want to take your extreme values into account, click the 95% range. This will clip the values at the upper and lower range. If you want to go back to the full range, click the 100%. More helpful options for more detailed analysis are to switch to a logarithmic display, causing lower values to be displayed with the smaller color steps or distribute your sliders evenly as well as color your no data value or use discrete colors. There are two other modes, the basic mode and the table mode. The basic mode is another possibility to select predefined color schemes and change your value range by modifying the maximum and minimum values. The table mode is the third possibility to manipulate the coloring of your image. For example, you can type in your values here and change the colors here. Reset your settings to default by clicking the reset icon. For more information or further questions, you can visit the SNAP forum with the link below. Thank you for watching.